In the winter, this playa floods with water. The rain hits the mountains and rolls down in streams into the playa. And the thing is, it ends here. The first pioneers as they crossed Nevada were really surprised as they followed the Humboldt River. And they followed it along, it was flowing, and they thought, oh boy, this is going to take us all the way to the ocean, we can water our cattle. And the river ended in a swampy playa. It just ended, it didn't go to the ocean. Well, when all that water runs down from the mountains, it dissolves minerals from the rocks and salts. And when it hits the playa, the brutal sunlight here in the summer evaporates the water and leaves behind all the salts in the playa surface. And that makes the surface salty and alkaline. When a material is under uniform tension, it breaks with 120 degree angles. And if it goes under tension in one direction, preferentially, like if it's drying out from the edge of a, a lake to the middle, it'll crack at 90 degree angles. So this showed me I had a nice uniform contraction. And we see these 120 degree angles all over the playa, little hexagons of sediment. Well, we have a test kit here. And I'm gonna see just how alkaline the soil is. So I gathered some of the soil. And I have some soil from San Francisco as well. And I have two pH testers. Now pH is the chemist's name for the way you test acid versus alkaline. Every scientist should carry a Swiss army knife. And um, you, you put in a measured amount of the soil into this chamber. And then I'll fill this one with playa. And this playa is silt and clay plus the salts and the alkaline materials that have been dissolved out of the surrounding rocks. And then it says you add water to the top line. And then we use the indicator solution. Now it comes in these little green packets. And the goal here is to open this up and dump the powdery stuff in there. I got most of it in. Really shaken up. We've given our samples a little over a minute to settle. And if we look at the San Francisco sample over here, what you do is compare the color at the top to the color on the chart next to it. And you'll see that the color is kind of a light yellowish. And that indicates it's just very slightly acidic soil. And lots of plants love slightly acidic soils. But the playa, the playa soil over here, look at that bluish color. It's, it's beyond the green of the indicator scale here. And if it were green, it would indicate that the playa was pH 7.5. And this is way beyond that. This is, so we, we know this is a very alkaline soil. In pH 8, you can get pampas grass to grow, but not much else. And the playa is just so alkaline, nothing grows here. It is just barren. 